Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to be learning about permalinks. Permalink stands for permanent link. Permalinks are essentially the URL or web address of the content on your site, including blog posts, pages, categories, and other lists of blog articles. Ideally, the URL to your content should be permanent and never change, hence we call the URL a permalink. Just a quick note, if you're unsure of what an URL or web address is, an URL or web address is simply the string of text you type into the browser to access content on the internet. For example, the URL or web address for Google is www.google.com. By default, WordPress uses a URL format that contains symbols and numbers. Without getting too complex, the question mark P equals 64 means WordPress has assigned the post ID 64 to the post we are currently viewing. This default format is not ideal for a couple of reasons. First is site aesthetics. Currently the URL doesn't look nice at all. Obviously we'd want every aspect of our site to look nice, including the URL. Second, we want the URL to our content to be descriptive, so we can determine what content we are viewing simply by looking at the URL. Right now it doesn't tell us anything except a page ID. The third reason is, the current format of this URL is not search engine friendly. Search engine optimization, or SEO for short, is a topic we'll be discussing in the future, but in a nutshell, when search engines indexes your content, you'd want the search engine to know exactly what your content is about, so it can be indexed properly. For example, the URL for our Bora Bora post is currently p equals 64. The search engine will not know our post is about Bora Bora at first glance, because our URL doesn't specify anything. So when a user searches Bora Bora on Google, our post will not rank very well, because as far as Google is concerned, p equals 64 has nothing to do with Bora Bora. Permalink settings in WordPress allows us to determine the format of the URL for our content. Hover over settings, then click permalinks. WordPress lists several common permalink settings here for you to choose from, and as the radio button indicates, the default setting is currently selected. Day and name will display the year, month and day in front of the post or page title. Month and name will display the year and month before the post or page title. Numeric will display archives in front of your posts or pages, which will have a numeric ID. Post name will display the URL for your posts and pages as the site URL followed by the post or page title. When we cycle through the options, WordPress will automatically fill in the permalink variables. These variables let WordPress know what rules to follow when generating the URL for your content. You can also specify a custom structure. For example, if you want the URL for your content to be the site URL followed by category, then post name, you type in slash category wrapped by percentage signs, then slash post name wrapped by percentage signs. Many SEO experts agree the best permalink structure is simply the post name by itself. However, some also say adding in the post category will provide an additional layer of search engine optimization. Select a setting you prefer, then click Save Changes. After refreshing our post, we can see the URL has now changed to the site URL followed by the post title. Currently our permalink settings is using the post name as the slug. We can change the slug without changing the post name. Simply click on the slug, make changes, click save, update and view the post. As you can see the post slug has now changed to Bora Bora overview, but our post name stayed the same. Now, when users search for Bora Bora on Google, our post will be better ranked in the search results, as Google can see from the post URL, it's related to the search term. Category and tag bases are URL prefixes for category and tag archives, 
We won't worry about it for now, as the default settings are fine in most cases. Permalinks can sometimes be a source of confusion for new users of WordPress, so hopefully this video has explained and answered your questions related to permalinks. We are almost nearing the end of Theory Block B. Next, we'll explore some useful tools in WordPress.